I am very happy to say that uh, anchors or on-page anchors for SharePoint has, uh, has arrived and I've just tested it and I thought I'd share with you how to actually set these up. Now what we mean with anchors is that uh, a user should be able to navigate to specific places on a page from the top of the page. This example that I have here is uh, product pages that I built for awareness in companies and for governance. So you'll see that it's got uh, quite a lot of sections. So announcements, product detail, um, training, support, social media, business governance, configuration, etc. And what I wanted is for the users to write at the top already select the section they would like to navigate to. And you can see that I did a, <laughs> a old breadcrumb there for those of you who know what a breadcrumb is. But take a look um, at how easy it is to set this up. Now, when you've used uh, text on pages and you've actually marked it as headers, which I'll show you now, you'll see that there's a link next to that um, header at the moment, which means that you can actually right click and copy that link address. So what I've done is I've selected all the headers on my page and I've copied those link addresses. You'll see that I've just pasted them here in, uh, in Notepad so that I can use them when I set up the links. What I then did is I then went and set up the links at the top. So I used a normal um, text web part and I just typed the text and I then put hyperlinks on top of it. So I would type that section's name and I would put a hyperlink on top of it. The first thing that I did try, and I've just put it at the bottom of the page to show you, is the first thing I did try was to do it with a quick links web part and uh, sadly that didn't work. I'm not quite sure why, there might be a technical reason for it, but we'll figure that out as well. So I did do it as buttons first and uh, that definitely didn't want to work. When you click on the button, it doesn't navigate to that section. As I said, there might be a technical reason for it and I'm definitely not the most overly technical person. So I'm going to just remove that web part. I would have liked that to work, but what I then went and did is that I added a text web part and in that text, I just typed the text that I wanted to use and then I highlighted those words and then I used the URLs that I copied by going to those specific headers and copying the um, header text. So how do I add a header as well, just for interest sake, is if I go text and I, um, let's say important um, section, you'll see that you can change this to a heading. And once you've changed it to a heading, you can then click and select that URL um, on the page to use it as a navigation. So pretty easy to do and I'm really, really super excited about this to be able to help users navigate to specific parts on pages. So for now, I just did it like the traditional breadcrumb that we all know. I couldn't get it right with the quick links, but uh, we'll try that again at some point or figure out why it is that it doesn't work. But that means that a user can look at the top of the page and say, I wanna go straight to the admin section, which is right at the bottom. And there you'll see it goes straight to the admin section at the bottom of the page. That's pretty, pretty amazing. And uh, thanks Microsoft for bringing that in for us as well. It's definitely gonna make my life easier for when I have pages that are quite long to scroll through and users actually just want to navigate to a specific spot on a page. Pretty cool. Remember to use uh, heading one for your text so that you can grab that URL. There you can see there's the little anchor. I can just right click and say copy address and I can then build a link into it. So well done. I hope uh, everyone has fun trying that out on their pages.